Hmm. Call robot repair shop, Ray Magnets. Dear Tim and Moby, Why do magnets stick to things? From Jen. A magnet is any material that produces a magnetic field. Yeah, a magnetic field is basically a force field. It's an invisible area of force that extends all around a magnet. That force attracts metals like iron, nickel, and cobalt. When those metals fall inside a strong enough magnetic field, they become temporarily magnetic. Well, all metals have arrangements of atoms inside them called magnetic domains. Usually, the poles of these domains are jumbled up, so they pretty much cancel each other out. But the domains inside of a magnet are a different story. In a magnet, all of the domains are lined up so that they face in the same direction. That creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field temporarily lines up the magnetic domains in the paper clip, so it becomes a magnet too. Magnetic fields get weaker the further away from the magnet you go. So if the paper clip is too far away, the magnet can't pull it in. Right, every magnet has a north and south pole. In fact, if you cut a magnet in half, the two magnets you're left with both have north and south poles. It's true that opposites attract. A north pole will attract a south pole. But try to get one north pole together with another north pole, and they're just not interested. You can force them together, but they repel each other. Any magnetic metal has north and south poles too, and weak magnetic fields surrounding them. Oh, magnets get their name from a type of iron ore called magnetite. Thousands of years ago, people in ancient Greece and China noticed magnetite's strange properties. When small pieces of iron were rubbed against it, those pieces would start to act, well, kind of funny. When the pieces were free to turn, one end always pointed north. Yep, those pieces of iron were the first compasses. Compasses work because the Earth has its own magnetic field, with magnetic north and south poles, slightly offset from the geographic poles. It pulls at lightly balanced pieces of metal, like a compass needle. That's why a compass needle always points north. Magnets have tons more uses besides compasses, though. Electromagnets are everywhere, in electric motors, circuit breakers, doorbells, you name it. Oh, when you run an electric current through a piece of wire, it creates a magnetic field around the wire. That's an electromagnet. You can control the strength of the magnetic field by changing the amount of electric current you run through the wire. Oh, sure, robots are built with electromagnets, too. Hey, what do you think would happen if you turned up your current? Okay there, buddy?